Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my Bit Shoot and YouTube Cybercast together. This is Dr. Games101. Today we're doing um, part 22 of Medal of Honor, uh, 1999 video game, play, full playthrough. I've uh, been at this game for about at least a good year and a half now with you guys, on, on and off that is. My last uh, part I did was back in May of 2022, so check that out if you want to see the uh, previous parts. If not, please thumbs up. Subscribe and share. Right now I have to switch memory cards. Excuse me. Totally forgot about that. So thumbs up if you can. If you can subscribe. That's fine. That would be great. Okay, that's weird. There we go. Now let's check your memory card. Sorry for the wait, guys. I appreciate your wait. You know... If you want to request something for me to play, you know, feel free to donate as well. Especially if you want to play a new game as of late. This game I had for about a few years on, uh, by itself. I would say this though, that I haven't played Metal of Honor since, uh, what, since, uh, since it came out. Uh, I had, actually had to rent it or borrow from a friend for a few, few weeks. That was worthwhile. So yeah, continue on. In the penalty of your assault, the Germans hastily loaded the sabotage gyroscope into the rocket for an immediate launch. Dr. Groneck knows what you're up to, so he's probably made an exit along with someone named Weimir von Braun. Before he departed, Groneck did you a big favor. He cut the communications cable between Norge Hans Command Center and the launch gate gantry. It goes without saying, but the gantry will be heavily defended. You got to make it down there, Patterson. It's the only place you made it to launch the rocket. You find a set of auxiliary controls inside. Blockhouse begin launch sequence from there. With the communications cut, there will be no way for the command center to stop it. If you were successful in sabotaging the gyro, the V2 should go into a gimbal lock just seconds after launch. Stay inside the blockhouse and spend a free force with survive explosion of this magnitude. When a rocket comes, crash it down on top of you. It will be the only safe place of all of uh, North Hong. Bonnie, Chance, dear my friend, good luck. And so it should be the last part of this uh, this game, if not the second to last part. Depends on how often I lose or, you know, it's game over for me, so. And we try it over and over. <sighs> Alright, so it looks like the last level, by the looks of things. Got my bazooka, got grenades, a shotgun. I gotta use this baby. If I can see in here, fuck. Dude. So escape from this area, guys. So it should be the last mission, by lots of things. That's way too easy, though, right? Down. 
Nice! <laughs> All the scientists just panic out of nowhere. <laughs> well, it says game over. No one can guarantee success in the world, but only deserve it. <laughs> yes, this is your show. Rest in peace. Victory. Victory. <laughs> General Eisenhower informs me that the forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations. The flags of freedom fly all over Europe. Well, that was an easy mission. Got one on one star. Number of shots 507, number of hits 58. Accuracy 54% of all, of all things, right? Alright, medal awarded. I'm gonna say, by the looks of things, this is game over. It's over. <laughs> I was not expecting this thing to last this short. Uh, I was expecting maybe that 15 minute, you know, 15 minute game plan with you guys. But I see that it's not the case. Oh, that's gonna be an easy thing for me to do. In the meantime, I guess I'm gonna play Tomb Raider 2 with you guys first time in how many years? Uh, about months. Uh, thanks for, for watching. Please thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Uh, yeah, that's it, guys. This is it. Metal Bonner, it's over with. Uh, I can check my war records for you guys. This should log personal records. My performance. I finally got the mission one. All right, the bronze star. Mission log. Well, all right, guys. I'll see you next video. Bye.